Hello YouTube users. In this video tutorial, I will teach you about the Flash interface. I'm using Flash CS5, so it'll just be a wee different from Flash CS4. So I'll create a new file by going to Action Script 3.0 and show you the interface. I want you to notice that there is a menu bar at the very top of the window, like many other applications today. Also, in Flash, you have what is called a workspace. This entire area which I'm circling with my mouse is my workspace. In the workspace, you have what is called panels. The panels are all these box-like areas. So right here we have properties. And right here we have the timeline. Some panels are behind other panels, so you can't always see them. For example, the properties panel is next to the library panel, but the library panel is behind the properties panel. To switch between panels, you simply just click on the tab for the panel. So right now, I can easily switch between the properties panel and the library panel. Also, some panels are collapsed. So here you can see that I have panels in my workspace, but they only show up as icons. That's because they're collapsed. So there is the color panel, the swatches panel, a line, info, transform panels, and the code snippets, components, and motion presets panels. To use the panel, you just click on it and it pops out. So I have all these panels here, which take up very little space. To expand the panels, click the little double arrow on top of them. I'm gonna do that, and now all these panels have been expanded. To collapse the panels, just click on the double arrow. But not all the panels are being shown right now. There are actually a lot more panels than you can see right now. To get the other panels, go to Window and click on it. You'll see all the available panels. So there's the Actions panel, the Code Snippets panel. You can see that there's the Align, Color, Info, Swatches, and Transform panels. Now notice that some have a check mark by them. That means that the panel is open. So you can see that my timeline is open, and my properties panel is open, and so on. Now that doesn't mean that the panel is not in your workspace. You can see that my library is in my workspace, but there's no check mark by it. Now one of the most important panels, which I haven't mentioned yet, is the panel for your document. For me, that would be this area right here that I'm circling. The document I'm working on is called... Untitled 1. You can see the name up here. In this area, you have the stage, which is this white area right here. <clears throat> and the pasteboard, which is this gray area around the stage. And then we have some buttons at the top, which help you to work in your stage. And a text field that allows you to zoom in and out. It also has a drop-down menu to choose from. Now I want you to be aware that there is more than one workspace. You can choose from different workspaces and you can even custom your own. If you go to the top, you'll see the word Essentials. And if you click it, you'll see a list of other workspaces. So right now, I'm in the Essentials workspace. But I can go to the Animator workspace or the Classic workspace or any other one. And I think that about covers this tutorial, so I'll stop here. Goodbye.